Welcome to the June Fat Fiber Sampler Box preview video. This month our theme is Summer Blooms. Our contributors sent in such gorgeous fibers. They went with purples and pinks and blues and all the bright beautiful colors that you get in the summer. I want to introduce my niece. This is Autumn. Hi. And she's joining us for this month. She'll be here for about six weeks in the, at the Fat Fiber headquarters. And I love that she's helping me with the video. She's going to show some of the samples with us. And I love that you're here. You so look what I'm here. This month, shut up. This month we're going to give away two more $50 gift certificates and this time it's going to be from two lists. If you are on the Buy Fat Incentive thread and you're on our Tour de Fleece team, I'm going to randomly select somebody that are on both of those lists, two somebody's, and give away gift certificates for their favorite shop. So I'm so excited about that. I'm excited that you're here. Thank you for joining us and let's get started and see what these contributors sent in. This month's theme is Summer Blooms, and in honor of that, I brought my own flower. <laughs> Laura and Steph from Wild Time Art sent us these really beautiful bats this time um, with some pinks and kind of a deep burgundy and hunter green in there that's got sparkles in it. Um, let's see, she called this one Bouquet of Lilacs. has merino, tessa silk, cori cross, alpaca, lamb's locks, Mohair, Firestar, and of course, Sparkly Angelina, which we all love. This is glitter. You totally trashed my shop there. I was on a roll. I was, mm, I was, yeah. I was all that in a bag of chips for a minute there, and you just dumped me. Yeah. yeah. This lady's name is Julie. She does narwhal knits, and this one is a fairy garden sampler. Um, it's on water. Color silk, 70% superwash, merino is 30%, and there's silk. It's it's silk. Um, yeah, and she's got some uh, dark yeah. yellow in there and some pink, but lots of really soft, pretty greens. Yes. <clears throat> Love the and greens. Ah! Narwhal knits with fairy garden. Those are pretty colors. Barbara from Kitty Minecraft sent us. Um, yarn and fiber again this month. I love when she does that. It's so much fun to see it on different bases. Um, this is her garden romance fiber and it has got some really pretty purples and greens. This fiber is Optum Merino which if you haven't used Optum is so incredibly soft with 25% rose fiber which you can see the rose streaking through there and 25% black tussa silk. So the black in here is silk. So this is just an absolute luxurious blend here. And then she did her garden romance on yarn and this one is 100% superwash merino and this sample is a DK weight which is so much fun. I love the thicker samples and you can see all those beautiful colors throughout. Garden romance. But this and this and they're different things. This one's got all kind of fancy stuff and you'll like it. I just think it's pretty. So, winemaker's sister, who her name is Heather, she did these stitch markers, which as you can see are some soft blues, yes, and some golds, a little bit, kind copper. of copper, yeah. copper more, probably. They're, they're very beautiful for this. Um, and for the super box, the super box winner gets all of them, mm -hmm. but um, for the individual boxes, people get just one sa one stitch marker. So if you want this whole set, you can go to her shop on Etsy and pick up the entire set. And, and she, she does other things too. Yeah, Sorry. she does all kinds of wonderful things. Yeah, she does mugs, things like that. She does jewelry, so... Yeah, you should go other... check out her shop. It's gorgeous. You really should. The winemaker's sister. Goods for knitters. Stitch markers. They look nice and smooth. Because you guys like them to go smooth. You like them to catch. Carol from Felview Fiber sent in this beautiful luxury blend. She calls this White, White Croft Roses. This luxury blend contains soft merino in shades of pink, well bent, blended with rose fiber, and tessa silk. Both the silk and the rose give a lovely drape and sheen when spun into yarn. And they have a longer staple length, so they make it a little more straightforward than just pure merino to spin. 
Soft pink English roses draped around the front door of a thatched cottage, a romantic image of country life not happened upon often in this day and age. However, that was the inspiration for this blend that I took from a watercolor that I inherited from my great-grandfather painted around the turn of the 20th century. This luxury blend in contains... This blend is made from a number of soft merino and shades of pink, well blended with rose fiber and tussa silk. Both the silk and the rose give the blend a lovely drape and sheen when spun into a yarn, and the, their staple, their longer staple length, make the blend more straightforward than more than pure merino to spin. This lovely little skein is from BrazenStitchery.com. 75% um, super Swash. water, super wash. Super water. <laughs> <laughs> Denny calls it Southwest, so you're good. <laughs> Marino, 25% nylon, and it's a four, four ply, ply, approximately 18 yards, yards here. Yeah, and hibiscus. She titled it Hibiscus. <laughs> so it's like a rose pink kind of, and a magenta. Yeah, and it's kind of a cyan, a cyan color. Yeah. I love those colors together. Brazenstitchery.com. Hibiscus. You gotta be careful saying hi like that in Colorado, because people mistake things. Lots. Nope, just fiber. The Woolly Lion sent in these gorgeous um, little bats, and they have beautiful soft spring green, and beautiful pinks and yellow, and I love this combination. These are merino, flax, and mohair. And I love when you can include flax because it gives you such a nice staple length to play with. I don't really like it on its own, but I love when it's blended into a bad. And these colors are just beautiful together. Mm -hmm. Love them. They look like they would be a fairy's outfit maybe or something. Yeah, or, you know, or in a garden. In a garden, something a fairy would wear. Very bright. They're very bright and and she wants colors. to say vibrant, but she won't yes, because she says it every time. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's a little lion in the face there because it's from the woolly lion. I think you're lying. No, it's right there. There's the eyes, there's the nose. Big old back up. Um, so Angelica from Shades of Light contributed her yarn to this and it's, as you can see, very vibrant. It's got a few colors that are in, they're pretty dark, but it is a very beautiful color. It's 80% or Superwash Merino. Superwash Merino. It's 10% nylon, 10% cashmere, and Mystic Rose, that's the name. It's kind of got some purple and yeah. reds. Yeah, and maybe some bright, bright magenta. Yeah. Shades of light, the mystic rose. Mm. It kind of glows. Yes. The color flows through my sparkly prose. So this is Full Circle Artworks by Stacy Strickland, I think that's how you say it. Um, this was dedicated to Prince and his creative genius. And as you can see, there's a lot of colors and there's some of them are bright some of them are less for every single box she sent a sample for gets each of these little bits of mm. color and fiber yes they're very fluffy too she titled this one starfish and coffee this one is my favorite love it yes it's it? like a caterpillar it's like a whole bunch of little caterpillars on a trail to somewhere making something cool in honor of Prince, who would have worn some of these colors for sure. Monica from Gloria Patre sent us in these beautiful little stitch markers that have birds on them and it looks like little upside down flowers. And she also sent in some buttons with each sample and a maple candy. <coughs> these are um, a larger ring. You can see my finger kind of fits in there. There we go. So and as you can see, these buttons can be useful for anything. I mean, you can even put them on your clothes if you would like. They're lovely They're little purple lovely. and white buttons. Yes. Wooden buttons. Gloria Patre sent an interesting arrangement of buttons and hummingbird stitch markers. Maple candy. And maple candy. She sent extra of these for you. She you sent me a maple candy, so, I know, so one of you will not get shorted this month. With Varian Fiber Art sent us in these really soft and beautiful um, Rolex. They've got some muted colors along with some really bright um, purple and pinks in there. And then she also sent us a sample of what it looks like woven. 
and just what it looks like as a yarn, which I love, because I love seeing how something might spin up. And of course it would depend on what colors, how you divided it and how you did it, but I just think this is really fun and pretty. And this sample is actually 100% Corydale, hmm. and it's really fluffy. I love that about Corydale. It's, it's got um, a reputation for being a beginner's fiber, but it actually is great for any skill level. It's really a fun one to spin. Looks like <laughs> spun and woven. <laughs> Spun, woven, and roll egg. So we have here Maggie from Prairie Land Herbs who sent us this natural lip balm. It's lip fuchsia. Lip gloss, actually. Lip yeah. gloss, so <laughs> it's a little bit tinted. A beautiful color, look yes. at that. A lot of natural ingredients. Prairie Land Herbs sent lip gloss. You want to try it, Danny? No, thank you. <laughs> I think my lips are beautiful in their natural habitat. <laughs> it looks pretty, though. It's a good color. Fuchsia? Yeah, have a look at it. Teresa Beck from Doodle Fiber sent us some gorgeous fluffy bats. This is her first time contributing, and we're so excited to have her in the box. She's got some bright oranges in here, soft green, white. The fibers in this one are Polworth, hand dyed superfine merino, soy silk, firestar, angelina, hand dyed kid mohair, and milk fiber. So this has everything wonderful in it. It's super fluffy, and we're so happy to have her in the fat fiber box. She called this one Zesty Zen. So if you'd like to go to her Ravelry shop and get more of it, that's what you'd look for. It's a mini bat from Doodle Fibers. <laughs> it's their first time contributing. Oh, yes. first timers. That's a nice big one. I like the orange. Looks like well, the orange. this whole thing kind of looks like sherbet. <laughs> So it's a blooming sherbet flower. So Catherine from Jaeger and Yarns contributed this here. And as you can see, they're, they're kind of fun little stitch markers, flowers, leaves, pearls. Little stickers. mother of pearl looking. Yeah. So pretty. They are. I love the flowers. Yes, I do like the flowers. And I like this color combination because it's so soft. Yeah, that is a very subtle, soft kind of subtle. Yeah, it's kind of a mute. Mm -hmm. Mute color. It's very um, wonderful stitch markers, I think. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's something good. We don't know. We just like it. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Jaeger and yarn. More people should mix Jaeger and yarn. Then you could be the Jaeger Meister of your yarn. <laughs> Fiber quirks sent in these beautiful roll eggs that are based on some bats in her shop from the song series and this one is lavender blue dilly dilly and it is 100 percent fine merino there's soft lavender there's beautiful purples and soft greens as well a little bit of vibrancy there love these colors together it's very fluffy colors Fluffy colors? Yes. <laughs> it's very fluffy. fluffy. fiber. Yeah. The colors aren't very fluffy. Probably not. Lavender blue dilly dilly. 100% fine merino. That did not come from a billy. This is designed by Tammy and she did some sunflower stitch markers. And uh, they look like, kind of like glass. Yeah, they're really pretty. They're and she beautiful. can do custom photo stitch markers of any photo that you have that you want her to make. Hmm. So if you had like pictures of somebody that you wanted to have on your stitch markers, you could send them to her and she could make the stitch markers for you. Mm -hmm. I love her little bright yellow sunflowers with blue background. You can see the blue sky mm -hmm. on them. And these look like a, a little bit a larger medium they stitch do. marker. Designs by Tammy, stitch markers, sunflowers. The road to our house in August is always lined with these flowers. Claire is the hippie homemaker and she sent us really beautifully dyed soft BFL and she calls this wishes or weeds. So you've got that beautiful dandelion, dandelion kind of yellow soft greens in there. It's fluffy and squishy and I love spinning BFL. I think it's a really fun fiber to spin. Wishes or weeds? Yeah. That's interesting. Well, because it's like a dandelion. It's like a dandelion. So is it a weed or does, do you blow it out to make a wish? I don't know. 
You blow it out to make a wish. Um, Alice at Handmaid Hollow sent in this, um... Roving. Roving. It's top. Thank you. And this has alpaca, fin, polype, merino. It's... She titled purples. it Hummingbird. Yes. <laughs> There's some purple, some blue. Purple rain, purple rain. There went a hummingbird. Mm -hmm. And it's soft Ooh. and fluffy. Yeah. I like this fiber. Squishy. What I like about al alpaca is you can see the hair definition, and I think that's really beautiful. Mm -hmm. And alpaca is usually pretty soft. Yeah. Handmade hollows. Yes. And this is a hummingbird. See how fast the wings go? When you spin it, you have to do it super fast because it's a hummingbird. Gary Lynn sent us in a pattern. She called this Ever Blooming, and it says fun flowers in garter stitch with pom pom centers. <laughs> she used worsted weight yarn. She said about 15 grams. And then um, size four needles. These would be super fun to put around your house in the winter time to give it that bright summer feel all over again. I love knitting fun um, shapes like this. I think it challenges me and it's just kind of different and I like to, I end up always knitting things that are functional. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to sometimes do just something that's beautiful and fun yeah. for itself. Mm -hmm. And I like the middles, they're very... The pom-poms? Yeah, the little pom-pom. Ever blooming fun flowers in garter stitch with pom-pom centers by Gary Lynn. Garter stitch, is that the one that also holds up your stockings? These are the samples that could be in your box. You will get 20 samples in your sampler box, and some of them will be fiber. If it's a fluff only box, you'll still get some accessory samples like stitch markers or patterns, that Maybe kind of stuff. Maybe chapstick. Yeah, exactly. Look gloss, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you won't get everything in this video unless you win the super box. So head on over to Ravelry to see what the super box is all about, and maybe you'll win it for this month. Maybe you will. Woohoo! Thank you for joining us, and next month is Farmer's Market, so I can't wait to see how people interpret that one. Thanks. Thank you for joining our... <laughs> New. Um, thank you for joining our... <laughs> what? She was making a face. I'm totally using that in the video. <laughs> Summer blooms. Summer blooms. With our rose. And never forget. It's like a good song from whoever it was that I can't remember. Summer breeze makes me feel fine Blowing through the jazz mine in my mind What Simon and Garpunkel was it? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. hmm. Hmm. Time to fire up the Google machine and find out the secrets behind summer blooms. We have internet. We have internet. We have great internet. Alright, enjoy your box. No wait, Hope you like I can't say that. Well, you just did. Enjoy your Summer Blooms Fat Fiber Sampler Box. Yeah, enjoy your... <laughs> enjoy your... Enjoy your... <laughs> enjoy your Summer Blooms Fat Fiber Sampler Box. And then you can go all max, max, max headroom with it. Mm. You don't remember that either, do you? I don't. No, you weren't born no. yet. We're done.